And so off the tip, it's Utah. Looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns. They've got Marion. Chambers out there with Stoudemire. Then it's Nash, and it's Davis at the shooting guard position. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Here's Nash driving to the basket. Chambers kicks to Mary. Tipped away and stolen by Stockton. Wide open shot is on the money. Now Nash. Stoudemire with a screen on Stockton. Nash, the shot, no good. So Utah will take it the other way. Here's Dantley, guarded by Marion. Malone, a screen on Marion. Here's Dantley, goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Nash, the pass to Chambers, to the inside. Here's Stoudemire, and that one is off. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Nice ball movement by Utah. Maravich, good. And that's why they call him the pistol. One of the most entertaining scorers in the game. And finding that one from deep. Now here is Davis. Pass to Chambers. Back to Davis. to Chambers. Shot clock at six. Here's Nash. From the top of the key, he buries it. First make of the day should finally give them a little confidence. It's usually interesting. After a bit of a struggle, does the first bucket get you into a little rhythm now? And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Marion, a screen on Maravich. Here's Davis. Misses off the right iron. And it's Utah's ball. Springing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. Stockton dishes to Maravich. Back to Stockton. Malone outside. Eaton the pass to Stockton. Here is Maravich. From deep. Rebounded by Chambers. Here's Nash. And he drives in. It's blocked. <laughs> and having Eaton protecting the rim, that's about the same as building a brick wall around the basket. Just nothing gets over him. What an intimidator down low. Andre Kirilenko is checked in for Utah. And a change for the Suns. Dennis Johnson's checked in for Steve Nash. Takes a three. That shot off. And Utah the other way now. Stockton passes to Kara Lincoln. Davis against Maravich. Here's Dantley. To the paint. It's stolen by Stoudemire. Johnson in the corner. There's the pass to Davis. Now here's Stoudemire and the foul on Andre Kirilenko. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Suns, Harley comes in for Sean Marion. And it's Booker in for Davis. Kirilenko against Chambers. Lobbed up there for Booker. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Part of why Devin Booker has been an all-star. Never afraid to mix it up on the interior. Williams, that's for two. Another miss by Utah. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Here's Johnson. And Darren Williams pulls it down. Jazz leading by seven. One twenty-two left here in the first quarter. He feeds it to Boozer. Oh. 
shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That's his first. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for Utah, Thomas Uza. Two shots. That's good from Boozer. Down to the Mitchells, checked in for Maravich. Johnson, he's checked in for Phoenix. He doesn't get the second one. Suns trail by eight. Marley dishes to Johnson. Count that one. Yeah, and I, I like the creativity there by Marley. You gotta like seeing him zip passes across the court. And here is Williams. No points in the game yet for him. Boozer is screen on Marley. Six on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Out to Kirilenko. Hayward against Stoudemire. Here's Kirilenko. No good on the three. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Johnson, the pass to Chambers. Here's Stoudemire. Guarded by Kirilenko. Stoudemire, the bucket on the assist by Johnson. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Marley against Hayward. Outside, Williams. Boozer with a screen for Williams. Trains the three-pointer. Well, you just can't let Darren Williams shut up out there. You have to try to get a hand up. And so it's Utah heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we... so far halfway through the first half in this one and the guys what's your take on Utah so far An impressive start they came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed what terrific work at the offensive end they have built some early momentum here and Phoenix look at who they've got on the floor they've got Nash Stoudemire out there with Marion and there's Davis and it's Van Arsdale in at the small forward position here's Stockton and it's blocked And he's going up for the alley-oop. Fast break. Here we go. And Davis pulls it down. Suns trail by seven. Nash outside. Stoudemire setting the pick for Nash. Off target from three-point range. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Stockton passes to Malone. Mitchell outside. Takes it inside. And the rejection by Stoudemire. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Stoudemire. And Utah making a change here. Maravich is checked in. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. It's Davis on the wing. Stoudemire with a screen on Maravich. Davis kicks to Stoudemire. Knocked away. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Center on the floor for the Jazz. Adrian Gentley. Off the inbound. Out to Marion. Just four to shoot. And again, it's the Suns missing. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Pass to Malone. Jazz passing it around. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Maravich has got the opening basket here in the second quarter for Utah. And buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shoot. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. Here is Maravich. Phoenix able to drain the three. Malone is screen on Davis. Maravich. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Nash. Malone with the block. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Substitution for the side. Paul Westfall. Dennis Johnson. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Driving in. Malone with the block. 
Here's Denton. And the jam by Carl Malone. I love watching Malone just use that strength. He, he's so good at just kind of burrowing his way inside and then finishing above the rim. Now here's Johnson. Good call, Carl. Rudy Gobert will check in for the jam. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Check it in for the jam. Rudy Gobert. Johnson attacking. The teardrop falls in. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Stockton outside. And the floater and the layup is up and in. And Maravich is such a great scorer. All eyes are on him, but his eyes are on his teammates. A tremendous dual threat. Now here's Johnson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Malone. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Jazz. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. And another thing that's clear is that they're dialed in for mid-range, burying their jump shots here early on. Now here's Gobert to the middle. Marion with the steal. This is it to Westfall. Johnson surveying the floor. Marion setting the pick for Johnson. Pass to Marlon. Shot clock at five. The three-pointer no good. Utah leading by seven. Maravich the best. That's three-pointers off the mark. Here's Chambers. Rebound, Utah. They've led by as much as 10. Now the pass to Dantley. Here's Gobert. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Marley with it. Now Kirilenko defending. And they're running. And that one's good, Griffith. And now an 11-point Jazz lead. Now this is where the freakish length of Rudy Gobert, so effective at reaching in and prying the ball away from the opposition. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game. Both teams will make substitutions. Third team foul. Sun substitution. 105 left to play in the first half. Now here's Marion. D right on him. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Marion's got his first bucket in this one. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. Nine point game. Here's Griffith. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. They get Sean Marion. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Jams have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Andre Kirling. Suns trail by 11. Down low, here's Marion, and Sean Marion with the slam. And Marion finishes with strength there, demonstrating how athletic he is with that dunking ability. It's Williams, high post. Johnson on him. Here's Boozer. And the bank shot is good. And the Jazz lead by 11. There's 25 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Chambers. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pocket six. Unloads from 13. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Impressed with the shot selection of Chambers, a volume shooter who really tries to seek out good quality looks. And so it's Utah. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're pounding the ball inside. And That's your chance, Dancer. Plenty of basketball.
basketball, though, left in this one. It's been quite a game for Pete Maravich. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. They've got Maravich. So John Stockton out there, and it's Malone in at the four slot. That's the group right now for Utah. Stockton against Nash. Shoots the three. Utah getting another chance here. Malone a screen on Mary. Stockton passes to Malone. Outside for Stockton. For three. Doesn't go that time. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Marion outside. Dishes to Davis. Marion setting the pick for Davis. Into the lane. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Sun shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And both free throws good for Davis. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Maravich the pass to Malone. And Malone gets double teamed. Three-pointer from Stockton. Buries it from three-point range. Stockton's got seven points in the game. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Here's Maravich. Phoenix grabs the miss. Chambers got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Malone with the block. And he dumps it down. Yeah, you got to love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish, always looking to find the open man. Maravich against Davis. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. The Jazz making a switch here. Mitchell's check in. They set the screen. Van Arsdale, good. He has five. Jazz leading by eight. Mitchell outside. Malone a screen on Davis. Here's Mitchell. The offensive rebound. And here are the Suns. Here's Van Arsdale. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Van Arsdale's got four points this quarter. And I'm a big fan of the awareness of Nash on the floor. A, a selfless player who's just fantastic at getting the ball to his open teammates in rhythm. Here's Mitchell, and it's Mitchell with the jam. Now, I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Inside. Here's Stoudemire. Up and in on the way. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. Stockton passes to Dantley. There's the drive. Just five to shoot. Out to the right wing. Stockton from outside. Hands it from downtown. Stockton's got 10 points in the game. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. On the wing, Marley. Back to Johnson. The dish to Marley. Six to shoot. Gobert with the block. Defensively, few players have had a bigger impact than Rudy Gobert. That combination of energy and length and commitment so good defensively. Mitchell finds Williams. 
And here's Boozer, defended by Chambers. Kicks it out to Mitchell. You can't get that one. Ice D from Scott. Pass to Marley. Stoudemire inside. Go bear on him. Stoudemire dishes to Marley. Passes it to Chambers. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Stoudemire with a screen on Williams. Here's Scott. Stoudemire trying to break free. He hits good, and the Jazz lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Scott. Yeah, surprised he doesn't have more shot attempts. He's been accurate. You'd think he'd want to take control now with them behind. Kevin Johnson. That's his coach. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this. Sean Marion, he's checked in for Phoenix. Devin Booker comes in for Marley. 56 seconds left to play here in the third. Back to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Amari Stoudemire with the rebound. Stoudemire's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Johnson. He takes it in. Puts it up from 17. And with that, the Utah lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Scott. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Griffith passes to Baylor. Here's Griffith. There's the three. Hits the three-point bomb. Griffith has got seven. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Come on, who doesn't like the turnaround jumper, especially when it's taken with that kind of precision? And so it's Utah with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. A good size advantage, and they'll... And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and we love that skill. Wow. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure back basketball. On Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. They've got Marion. Nash out there with Jason Kidd. Then it's Stoudemire. And it's Davis. And at the three, the small forward. Malone with the steal. It's blocked. Davis against Stockton. Back to Kidd. Davis looking for an opening. Driving the lane. Got a hand on it. And he's able to get it back. Stoudemire, the screen. Nash with no one around. Connects from three-point range. Nash has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Sun. The pass to Stockton. Out left to the wing. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. Chambers is checked in for Stoudemire. Substitution for the Sun. Tom Chambers. Suns trail by three. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Here's Davis. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Nash has got his fourth assist in this one. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. This is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Driving to the... Oh, that was something else! Talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. There's Nash with the three, and the three ball is good. Nash has got the game tied up here for Phoenix. And the jump shot of Nash, poetry in motion, a super efficient shooter from downtown. That one drops for him. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Phoenix with the ball. Out 
side, Davis. Good call, Paul. Dennis Johnson's checked in for the Suns. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Sun substitution, Dennis Johnson. Now here is Davis. Going inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Malone. Yeah, the defender all over. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Jazz. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. And not to mention all the steals they piled up. They've gotten after it defensively. And Stockton almost impossible to guard in the pick and roll. When he gets a little daylight, he is always ready to pull the trigger. Nash kicks to Johnson. Five on the clock. Davis setting the pick for Johnson. And again, it's the Suns missing. Utah leading. Here's Dantley. Stockton passes to Dantley. Dives to the hoop. He gets it in there. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. The three. Chambers can't make the basket. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Stockton outside. Back to Maravich. And Johnson pulls it down. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Phoenix. He's given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop. He absolutely hammered it down. Stockton outside. Maravich against Johnson. Teardrop shot. Maravich dishes to Malone. Here's Dantley. He's guarded by Davis. A shot by Dantley, no good. The Suns trailing. Pass to Chambers. Over Malone. Another one falls for Phoenix. And the ultimate combo guard. Johnson can pass with the league's best playmaker. Down low. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. Wow, what a time for a turnover. Shows you just how key one play can be. And Phoenix making a change. Stoudemire's checked in. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, over the last break, I listened to Phoenix's coach talk to the team. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. you got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, David. Nash against Stockton. Passed him away. Kicks it to Maravich. Stocked in against Nash. The Jazz again can't hit it. And it's Phoenix's ball. Davis setting the pick for Nash. Pass to Stoudemire. Shoots over Malone. Got it! So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. There is Stockton to the middle, and it's Malone missing, and that's an intentional foul. That's his fourth personal foul. Third team foul. And here's Phoenix. Giving up just eight points in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. He knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game.
The pass to Eaton. Back to Maravich. Stocked in from outside. Phoenix grabs the miss, and now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. Danley, another miss by Utah. And now we've got the intentional foul. Eaton, that's his second personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Top. Second one is good, hitting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Hayward on the wing. To halt the run. No good. So it's Phoenix picking up the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and can we about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olmers, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Steve Nash.